Hello you beautiful people out there, what's going on? This is your friend Brick coming at you fast with another live Titanfall video and this time I'm going to be playing some attrition on the map Fracture. Uh, this actually was a map from the beta so I do know it pretty well. And I'm going to be telling you guys a couple of basic tips if you're a beginner at Titanfall, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to get your KD up. You're, you're doing pretty bad. This is where you want to go. This is what you want to listen to. I've got three, four really good things that you want to listen up to that you, you really should follow and try to look at when you're playing this game if you want to be successful. So the first thing, wall run. Wall run, wall run, parkour everywhere. Do it everywhere. Don't play it like you're playing quote-unquote Call of Duty. I had to learn that the hard way. Wall run. Momentum, momentum, momentum. This game's all about momentum. Getting to places before your opponent can get there. Getting to rooftops before your opponent can get there. Getting the vantage point before your opponent can get there. And the, which brings me to my next point. Heights. Always be on the roofs of buildings. Always be high up. Always be in a good vantage point where you can see a lot of the map and people cannot see you. So don't be in a building in the middle of the map, the very highest building, and expect people not to see you because they will because you're shooting from up there. Be on buildings off to the side a little bit. Play the outskirts of the map. Don't ever run down the middle because everybody sees and is watching the middle. Go around the outskirts of the map. Jump on the buildings on the outskirts of the map so you have a better line of sight. And remember, as soon as you shoot, after you shoot or kill somebody, if your weapon is unsilenced, cloak. And don't move, like, get to an angle where other people won't see you. Don't move, and you should be pretty damn good. If you uh, manage to cloak and get your face out of the way, basically. So let's get up into attrition. You'll see what I'm talking about. The third thing you want to do is has to do when playing with Titans. When you're playing with Titans, you want to make sure that um, if you get if you get outmatched, if there's too many enemy Titans on the other other team and they're butt fucking you, basically, there's you know. 2v wanting you with titans you don't want to challenge that you want to make sure that that doesn't happen to you you want to make sure that you avoid that at all costs see there's already people up here that i can be killing which i am killing them very well oh come on one more bullet one more bullet oh no no darn it he saw me that ga2 rifle is really really good okay they already have a titan Somebody already called one in. So I'm going to avoid that for now. That's not my priorities. I want to get some kills. This is attrition. Uh, the people are going back to where they are. See, right here I have a good line of sight. I have good cover. Looking at enemies. I do have to hit some pretty gnarly long range shots. But this is a good spot to be. There's definitely a dude there somewhere. Killed the grunt. Okay. You want to avoid titans. Unless you have backup, if you're a person. Even if you jump on their back, they might have somebody next to them. So it's better just not to uh, to go there in the first place. So let's get back up here. Let's get up here. Because there was a person up here somewhere. Oh, are they down here now? Captain Dearson. There's a person right underneath me. Somewhere. There's a guy. Always pay attention to your minimap, because then you can see people who are trying to do that right there. As soon as you get into your Titan, you want to make sure that you're jumping into your Titan while it's inside the shield. If your Titan is in a fight, never jump inside of it, because you're going to be stuck in that animation, and people are going to be shooting at you, and it's just going to be bad luck Sally all over the place. Got you, Sanchito. Sanchito. Oh no, he is on top of me. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> I am so smart. So also try to figure out where people tend to go a lot. This building seems to be very, very popular. There seems to be quite a couple of people. So let's do some Titan vs. Titan warfare here. Alright, you always want to make sure that you try to get your shield core up when fighting other titans. Alright, so we doomed the titan. We could ignore the titan right now. Since we doomed. When you doom a titan, you can always ignore it. Just go around the corner. Make sure that uh, the titan doesn't hit you. 
Alright, I am in a bad situation against that guy. He is on a head glitch. Basically. Just to, okay, let's get around to a better angle. Oh, no, I'm stuck in this corner now. Gotta kill this dude. Oh, I think that was him. Okay, let's go. You want to make sure you try to keep your Titan alive as much as possible. Sure, you want to do damage to enemy Titans. But you also want to keep them alive. Now, see, I'm at number two to one. I'm trying to run away here. I honestly am, but there's three Titans now, which at that point, you're usually just going to have to let it go. And, um... You know, just let them kill you. Now, right here, I kind of want to take cover a little bit because there's multiple Titans everywhere. I, uh... That's definitely not a Spectre. That's a person. No, it is a Spectre. I definitely don't know if I want to be doing that right now because there is two Titans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Cloak. Oh, this guy looks pretty weak. I'm going to make him feel stupid with these grenades. I'm going to get his shields down. And now, I mean, I don't really have to actually charge at him. I could have shot that earlier, to be honest. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really hard to get on these titans. There we go. Got on this titan. Hopefully, the other person won't see me. He might. Okay, so that person did get off. I was trying to doom the titan. Oh, wow, he killed me pretty quickly. Oh, he killed me with the rockets. That's what he killed me with. He killed me with the rockets. Okay. In that situation, you usually don't want to jump on the Titans unless it's in a very, like, critical situation. Like, you are going to die no matter what at that point. So just might as well just throw yourself at the enemy. And actually... It might be a good tip to actually have your anti-Titan weapon out before you enter the Titan. So when you jump in, you might have been uh, hit by the Titan a little bit. And that's why you were jumped out or kicked out. Out number two to one. This is a pretty even battle. Yep, we both had the same idea. And if there is ever a person, you can always switch to your weapon. And make sure you take care of that. Just always remember, if you're moving around a lot, use the, use the walls. Stick to the rooftops, it'll be easier. Unless you see a person, then you can chase them, I guess. But you always kind of want to make sure that you stay back, stay back on the rooftops. Because the rooftops are your friend. If you guys actually didn't know, you can hack these turrets. Er, no, not in attrition. In a campaign multiplayer, you can hack these turrets and then they will fight for you. Come on, Sanchito. Sanchito, why you run for me, Sanchito? Why you run? Oh, this person's lagging. Got him. This person trying to... What's going on? Ah, I grabbed onto that ledge for no reason. That person tried to fucking kick me. Got turned on. 9 and 2, 9 and 2. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. Keeping a good KD here. That's an auto titan. Auto titans are pretty easy to take care of. I'm, I like using the mag launcher. I feel like the mag launcher is just the way to roll got that time assist now, now the only time I want to jump into my time is just to make sure when nobody's around there is a dude right there uh, where'd he go did he go inside he probably went inside okay Titan pick me up let's go Always make sure that there's no one around with your Titan. To get outnumbered in a Titan, try to run away as much as possible. With an Ogre, that's usually not going to happen. I'm I'm more used to playing with an Atlas. I'll get more specific with... Oh, shit. That thing was already flying away. 
I was I would get more specific later with the Titans, what to use with them, how to play with them. But with the Ogre, it's really, really defensive. So you want to be able to run away too much. But that's good. We uh, tied for first place on our team. We had the best KD, the less, least amount of deaths out of everybody. So I hope those tips would help you guys. It's, it's really basic tips because it is the start of the game. I still need to research it a bit more. But that's what I could pick up, and those help me a lot. Uh, if you want to see my uh, KD right now, my um, personal stats, kill record, lifetime average versus bots and players is 6.3, and lifetime average versus players alone is 2.6. So uh, you can you can tell I follow by those rules and they help a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please drop a like. Uh, let's go for I want to go for f 20 likes. Let's go for 20 likes. Let's get crazy here and go 20 likes for something that's not a Call of Duty video. Uh, this will let me know if you guys want to see more like advanced tips in the future about this game. And uh, if you have anything that you found out yourself, please drop it in the comment section below. I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you haven't already for more epic titanfall and call of duty gameplay and as always guys have a wonderful day